It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel like I'm home at last. I hope Richmond can become your home. I know David would like that. And nothing pleases me more than seeing families reunited. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi, take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden or a baked delicacy by yours truly? Everything looks so good, I, I want it all. So polite, David. You sure he's your brother? Can't trust a diplomat. Always saying one thing and thinking another. Please, make yourself comfortable. We value straight talk here, so please, forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. People get used to doing as they please. No offense, but what qualifies you to lead? Testing us already? Just curious who's leading the troops into battle. Everything you see, we built ourselves. If that's not an endorsement, I don't know what is. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. That looks pretty intense. Doesn't it hurt? It's burned into your flesh. Of course it fucking hurts. It's a sign of commitment, not a Buddhist symbol from your year abroad. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask. But I never want them to have to experience loss like that again. You can't protect people, Joan. Not completely. Not anymore. <sighs> You're probably right. That doesn't mean we don't have to try. Max? What are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. Let's just say I wouldn't invite him to my wedding. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking go. Good, because I just said you wouldn't be invited. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? Answer her. Did you steal gas from us? I was scavenging whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. That... that's not all. He shot Rufus. In the back. You did what? 
We found the body near the wreck of Rufus's truck. You cold cocked me with your pistol. I woke up in a truck with cable ties on my wrists. That don't make it right. Rufus was bringing you here. We wasn't gonna hurt you. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to killers. We're trying to build something different here. Something resembling civilization. Everything I did out there was to protect my people. That's more than I can say for you. I'm not sure what you mean. Javi? You have something to say? No. That's it. That's right. He knows what he done. There ain't nothing more to say. Uh, it's clear your brother doesn't belong here. Javi and his people have to go. You're overreacting. It was a scuffle over supplies. Uh, we've exiled people for less. Sorry, David. Your soldiers are already wild enough. We can't add more crazy to the mix. Take Javi and everyone in quarantine to the gate. Give them a pack with a bare minimum to survive. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here. Your doctor friend, too. But the rest of you... You're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. It's out of my hands. Just stay alive. Okay? Oh, what the fuck? We didn't do anything. I might do something here in a minute. David packed this. He did. They said- Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! Let go of me! This isn't her fault, Trip. You're mad at the wrong person. Do not fuck this up. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. Seems your moment alone with David screwed us over pretty good. We trusted you. What the hell, man? Look, we're not dead. That's something, okay? <laughs> not yet, anyway. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. What's that? It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. Pretty sure David wants us to go there. We don't even know where the hell we are on this thing. Okay. There's Richmond. That helps. That's where we are. And that's where we need to go. Just gotta head north. And to find north, we need to find the North Star.
That's it. We need to go this way. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. Deal with it. Take it. Please. Take it. Call it an apology. That man back there in the tunnel, that wasn't me. Take the gun. Conrad, don't let the past get in the way of common sense. Give him the gun, Javi. I can find something along the way. Always have. The gun is yours, Conrad. I can handle myself. Nobody fires a single shot unless you are deep fucking fried. You hear me? We don't want to attract whatever the hell's out there. I gotta tell you, man, I thought you and Kate were, you know, I wouldn't have guessed she was married to not you. I ain't judging, mind you, I'm just curious. What's the story? Ain't my business, I know, but what have we got to lose out here? She's my brother's wife, she's family. End of story. Come on, man. You're not a dumbass. When it comes to these kind of things, the story never really ends. Not for everyone, at least. It's always a mess, ain't it? What's that? Who you love, who loves you. If they're one and the same or otherwise. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just when you think you got everything figured out, boom. Heart goes ass over tea kettle. Just saying, man. Three things that never hide forever. The sun, the moon, and the truth. I know Eleanor told you that she and I were... whatever we were, but... that's over now. I respect her wishes. I really do. I just wish my heart respected mine. Jesus got his eye on something. What you got for us, man? Listen. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. About a quarter mile out. Heading the same way we are. Well, we could hit walkers any second. We better scoot. Walkers. Get ready. They're near. Alive, people. I got Come on, man, move your ass. You want a piece of this?
You should be more careful with this. <sighs> We're even now. This is a bad idea. We're following David's map right into a herd. For all we know, he's trying to get rid of us. Come on, Clem. He's my brother. You can't trust him, Javi. I learned that the hard way. I never wanted to need people again. But I had nowhere else to go. The new frontier gave me this and made me one of them. They promised they'd help him. That turned out to be a lie. Clem. Dr. Lingard, what's the matter with you? Um, I'm fine. Clem, please don't. The vancomycin, that's the last of it. It'll be wasted on AJ. I told you, it could save someone's life if used right. It's too valuable to throw away. It's the only thing that can save him. Except it can't. I'm sorry, Clem. I tried everything. I... I really did. This will help him get better. Nothing can help your boy now. Clem, put the drugs back before anyone finds out you took them. You know what they do to thieves here. There's still time. I have to try. Look, AJ, a bunny rabbit. <coughs> AJ, shh. What the hell is this? <coughs> I told her it was a bad idea. Are you fucking high again? Pull yourself together before the others see you. Deal with the damn kid. What the fuck were you thinking? You were told those drugs couldn't help him. How could you be so stupid? So selfish? Did you think I would just give up on him? AJ is everything to me, David. I'd do anything to keep him alive. Except there's nothing left to do. That waste? That'll cost someone's life down the road. Someone in this camp. 
Someone who contributes to our survival. Come on, David. She was just trying to help her kid. We helped enough! We should have left him out in the woods a week ago! But look! It's helping! It doesn't work that way, Clem. You bought him a peaceful moment. <laughs> Nothing more. I wish I could tell you it would save him. That's more than you did, any of you. That's not fair. You ungrateful little shit. We opened our arms to you, made you one of us. This is how you repay us? By stealing? By putting yourself before the group? You're done here. You broke our rules, Clem. Violated our trust. There's no place for you in the New Frontier. This was about his survival. So don't you dare judge me! It's always about survival! We have a better chance of it with you gone. Maybe we should give her another chance. Don't fight me on this, Paul. You know what Joan would say if she were here. I'm sorry, Clem. You brought this on yourself. Come on, AJ. We don't need this place anyway. Uh-uh. He stays. Can't take him with you. That ship has sailed. Get out of my fucking way! Right now! Clem, he's in no condition to travel. Let him go, Clem. He'll only drag you down out there. No! You monsters! What about this? What was it all for? Don't forget, I'm one of you. Not anymore. Let her say goodbye. We owe her that much, at least. Fine. You heard her. Say what you need to say, then you go. <laughs> really, Clem? <laughs> You're a piece of work, you know that? You deserve everything you get. AJ would be the one. Finally. The one what? The one who didn't die. Clem, I'm so sorry. My little goofball. That's what I get for trusting other people. Again. This is what David circled on the map. Our smelly friends are back. 